Tell me your name. Enrique Tellez. And uh, what is your role here? The title is Instrumental Music Director, the band and the orchestra teacher. What was your impression of today's performance? I'm really glad that everything was well put together. I didn't know what the you know cr crew members were going to be like, or you know the lighting, or or everything. So it was really impressive. It was nice to comforting, I should say, to see everyone really well prepared and ready to go. We weren't just walking into something that was kind of uh, they weren't sure what they were putting together. My first reaction was great. It's it's a legit show. It's it's awesome. So as a music teacher. I like to promote to the kids the possibility of doing something different um, than what they're constantly told in their other classes, which is, you know, this pre preparing for college means preparing for math, preparing for English, preparing for science. That there's more in the arts that they know about. I feel like kids aren't exposed to the idea that you can go to college and study ceramics. You can go to college and study your instrument and master that thing, that ability. And so I liked that talked about pursuing and involving music and that even if it's not your career, it could still be something that raises the bar, that improves test scores, that improves your, your understanding and overall mental processes. So it's hard for, for us as teachers or even the students' parents because when they hear it from an external source, it always means a little bit more when they hear it from someone else, especially a second time. So I, I like the message of understanding that music can be a lifelong thing. It's not just a right now thing. I hope that they can use that story to make a connection with something maybe even a, more personal, that they can think about someone in their family, people that they're very close to, uh, be it us as teachers or a family member, that they understand um, what it's like and that everybody's connected one way or another, that, that life is kind of like that and that we all know it's not impossible to go do something like that. So music makes music. Uh, it's a message that is more easily digestible for kids who don't really want to sit through the same old presentation. Music makes music puts it in a light that get, gets them excited, that gets them to hear a message, be excited for it, and hopefully open up a new door, some new insight for them to look at music and the way that it can bring up their life and their education and their emotional tolerance, everything like that. I wish I saw kids getting as excited as they did today during the Music Make Music assembly more often. The kids have their passions, but it's not that often that you see them get so excited over something. And I hope that because of their excitement, they won't forget this day, this assembly, and the message that Music Makes Music provides them. What would, it, what would happen if that, that excitement was present more often? Um, oh boy, a lot of things. I think kids emotionally would have a lot less worries in their lives. I feel like right now there's so much attention going towards a lot of negativity and I think it's the accessibility of information. The arts, I always relate them to kind of like sports. They're a way to kind of let go and dive into something that allows you to strengthen your tolerance for a lot of different things. The power of the arts. The power of the arts to stimulate a mind. You're strengthening the mind and you're preparing yourself to do things that you couldn't do before. As the mental processes, you run much higher while playing music, while performing on an instrument than you do doing a lot of other activities. <laughs> <laughs> I can cut on instrument. I have one class showing up in five minutes. Okay. We're going to do one more question. If I could choose what kids had to take, music would be on there. There's no, there's no question in my mind that it sh shouldn't be an essential. I, I, I don't understand why it's not a core 
class. I really think that everybody should be exposed to the arts, whether it's choir, whether it's, you know, playing an instrument. It's one of the oldest forms of entertainment, of art, of connecting socially. It still is. It's, a, it's such a social thing. Being in a band class is a social experience. And some kids miss out on that. Some kids aren't social. You run into the kids who have that, you know, they're, they're not as socially confident. I've got other teachers who I meet with in the mornings and more often than not, they'll say, you have the student first period, don't you? And I'd say, yeah. And I said, that's the reason why they're coming to school on those days. We've been wondering why they haven't been coming the other days. There's this connection, this love that comforts students, that prepares students, that raises their hopes and their knowledge and their ability and their confidence, that raises their self-esteem. Music helps with compartmentalization. It helps with being able to pull out information from a lot of different areas, combine them into one, sort of like speaking a language. It helps with, there's the division of beats, there's understanding intonation. There's a lot of team building exercises that happen in music that help with a lot of other things in life, working as a team, being a good coworker. There are so many studies that show that students who are in music have higher attendance rates, higher graduation rate, that they have overall higher GPAs and higher admittance into college as well. So I'd say overall, it's that fundamental stepping stone to bettering your education and your ability to be successful in education and in, and in life in the world oh yeah right oh yeah that's the best that's clap. a pretty good clap huh so, <laughs> yeah, did everyone get that clap perfect okay <laughs>